Hey guys, how's it going? So tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be magnetizing my Redemptor Dreadnought. So, uh, as you can tell, I've got the head all put together. The, this part is all put together. What I've done, if you can tell right here, is that I haven't glued anything. Uh, that piece does, does actually come off, so you don't really have to glue it. So what I didn't do is I didn't glue anything else to the body. The legs are all put together. You can actually put the legs completely together and not have to worry about anything else. I kind of changed up the stance a little bit. I made it, uh, so instead of on the left side, he was lifting up, I made it on the right side. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pinning, I'm going to be putting a magnet in this hole and then kind of filing this down a little bit and actually placing a magnet on top of there. So for those magnets, I am going to be using a 1 8 inch magnet. These uh, neoprene magnets right here, I'll be using those. For these two pieces, so in total, I need three magnets there. And then I'm also going to be magnetizing this as well. And so what I will be doing on this one is right here, if you can see it right in that hole, both the weapons actually fit right here, as you can see right here. And what I'll be doing is I'll be putting a magnet here and here. I'll be using another 1 8 inch magnet just so I can get the proper hole down. But as when I drill everything out and everything, it'll just clip right there. This part, I don't think I really need a magnet. It kind of slides in there nice and tight. So I don't think you really need there. And same thing with the Gatling gun right here. I mean, with the onslaught gun, fits in there really nice. So as long as you can magnetize this piece, you should be fine. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it here or if I'm gonna slide in that slot. No matter where I put it, it'll fit nice and it'll work there. And, then the, and that I'll be using the 1 8 magnet is as well. And then over here, I'll be doing the bolters the storm bolters and a frag assault launchers right here. And what I'll be doing is if you can see it right here, a drill bit, I'll be putting a magnet right about right here. And on those, I currently went out and bought some 1 16th magnets, the very small ones. Uh, I need something a little bit smaller to do that. I don't need anything with a lot of depth because as you can tell the 1 8th, uh, the 1 8th magnets are a lot thicker than those 1 16th ones as you can sell right here. So this is a very, very thin piece. If you can see it right here, very very thin so you need a definitely a very small thin magnet and these actually when you actually put them together as you can see right here they actually clip in they clip in pretty well so you don't need too strong of a magnet you just need one that's just going to hold it there and kind of clip it in there so i will be uh showing you all how to do that so the first thing i'm going to start off with is a big heavy onslaught candle and also the plasma incinerator gluing in that arm and then I'll slowly move in each one. So what I'll do basically is I, uh, yeah. what I'll do basically is I'll show y'all uh, kind of the finished product. I'll start with what I start with and then I'll show you the end product so y'all can kind of mimic it. Sure, that way it'll help y'all out. No, I don't need that yet, Piper. Thank you, baby. Don't need that. Appreciate it. So I'll be going to get started and the first kit we'll be get started with is the heavy onslaught cannon and then also the plasma incinerator, heavy plasma incinerator. So I'll get started on those. So guys, for the first part, I'm actually just gonna drill a hole right here. Just gonna widen out a hole. I've got a pretty strong, uh, got a nice little drill bit here I use. So I'm just gonna kind of drill that out enough to where I can actually stick the magnet down in there. Uh, I don't need it too much. I just need it just a little ways in there because the magnet, the other magnet will lie over there. So just like that, you just kind of drill it out a little bit right here. So, and then I'll show you what I do on one of the cannons and then you can have them both done. So, so just another tip guys for when you actually work on magnets, what I like to do is the end that I'm going to point up top. I do like to mark it with a, with a marker. So I know which end is up. So that way when I go to the next one over here, I paint it there that I know which end needs to go in on the other side. So uh, that's just a little tip, guys. I think uh, if you're working with magnets, there's probably one y'all have actually picked up and done. So, but if it's your first time, that'll help y'all out to determine which is positive and which is negative. So guys, usually when you use uh, magnets and stuff, I use super glue. So what I'm doing is I'm just dumping some super glue in there. I've already kind of got it in there. And then of my magnet right here, this is the dark side. So what I'll be doing is I'll be dropping in the dark side in there. Oh, it turned a little bit on me. This is the only bad thing about working with the magnets. It can be quite a pain in the butt. 
So just like that, the magnet is now set in there. Uh, super glue did take off the black spot, but I know that that was up. So now I will let that dry and I'll, then I'll start working on this bit. So I'm probably gonna cut that off just a hair and then drill it in there. As you can see right here, I need to get a little bit off here. So I'm just gonna use my pen vise right here. I'm just gonna use my clippers. I'm actually just gonna clip off a little bit so I can start working on drilling on that hole. I'm trying to leave just, just a hair. That's about all I need. I just need a little bit of a flat piece right there. And then I'm gonna drill that in because I need to have it level with that because you can see the clearance on it. it doesn't need to be too much in there, so. Sorry guys, when you're drilling the hole and everything, the one thing I like to do is I am using a 1 16th bit. Uh, so I'm gonna use that and that'll kind of get me started for the 1 6th, the 1 8th bit. You know, it's kind of easy if you work to a smaller hole and then you work up to a bigger hole. So you can kind of make it, make it exactly where you want to put it. So that's the tip, use a smaller bit so you can drill the bigger hole. So guys, I've, I've got both drilled out now. Uh, it's not as clean as I like it to, but I'll clean it up after all the glue and everything dries. I want to make sure it doesn't get too much up here. So uh, got them both drilled out, as you can see. And so what I'll do is I've got my magnets marked. That is supposed to go on the inside. I mean, that's supposed to go down below, so I should not see black after I glue it. So, And how I can test it is I got black here. And just like that, it should suck in right there. So that's the one that needs to go on the inside. So uh, just a way to do it. So I'm gonna start off with the Onslaught Gatling Cannon. A little bit of glue here. A little bit of glue. Pop that bad boy on there just like that. And I will flip it off. Oh, that did work before on the other one, so. There we go, just like that. Wanna make sure definitely it is where it needs to be. Oh, oh pooey. Here's the part where you just leave it alone now. So after you get in there, it does stick up a little bit. That's what I want. If you see the little bevel right there, there is that little space. That is exactly where I want it. And now I'll do the same thing with the plasma. And a little tip when you are working this, I usually have like a popsicle stick or something like that because guess what? It's not magnetized, it is wood. So it's a very thing you can easily use to keep it where it's going. So. Just like that, I have all the spots in. That is all magnetized. I will let it dry for about uh, five minutes or so, and then I will come back and I'll show you to make sure everything fits in nicely together. And then after that, we'll start working on the Dreadnought Power Fist and mounting the Heavy Flamer and Onslaught Cannon as well, so. Thank you, baby. So for this one, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put the magnet right in here. So I'm just gonna carve myself a little bit of ways this way with my knife here oh sorry so i'm gonna carve a little bit right in here with my knife i want to that's where i want to put the magnet so i want to make a little room here i don't want to move it too far the magnet this way because that's kind of almost flush with this piece right here so if it overlaps you'll be able to see the magnet so i'm kind of pushing it over just a hair more over here so i'll go ahead and start drilling that hole and i'm going to drill it in to where i want the magnet to be flush right here because what I will do here, well, I'm going to drill it in a little more and I want it to be, because when you drill it in right here, you drill that last piece in right over here. Sorry. You drill that last piece in right in here. What you want it to do is you want it to be right in here and almost flush. So just remember this piece is going to be right here. That piece is going to be this inner piece, so you have a lot more space and more area to work with. So guys, what you can see is I've drilled the hole right about right there. I just need to, that was a, like a 116, so that was like a 764 bit. But I needed something a little bit, a little bit smaller. I just want to widen it out just at the top edge right here because I don't want it to, the magnet to actually fall through. So I just need to widen it just a hair over here at the top. So when the magnet pops in, it'll be nice and flush. So 
y'all can see I'm just kind of drilling just very slowly. I don't want to go too much to where it actually punctures through. I need something to be able to hold a magnet on the side. So just like that. And then I'll clean it up and I'll drop that magnet in there. Just like with the rest of it, I am going to get some glue. Some little flash in there. I didn't quite clean up good enough. So... There we go. You never have enough glue. So just like that, I'm going to keep that side up. Get my trusty, my trusty, uh, just like that. And you can see, I hope y'all can see that it's nice and flush right there. It's kind of what I want. Let me zoom in there real quick so you can see it. It's very nice and flush. And then I'm going to start working on the onslaught bolter and the heavy flamer. Don't forget guys, the heavy flamer does not come drilled out. So you'll definitely want to drill that out so you can get the full effect that it looks like it's actually firing. But for me, this is the smallest hole I've ever seen for a heavy flamer. Uh, it's, it's very different than all the other heavy flamers and stuff I think we've ever seen across GW and their products. So that is in. I'm going to start working on the onslaught. I'll start working on the heavy flamer. So just like I said, it goes right here. So I'll be drill drilling my hole right in there. Oh, sorry. I'll be drilling my hole right there, guys. So before I get started on that, the first thing I want to do is actually kind of cut this and shave it. I want to make it flash. I want to make it flush with the actual rest of it. So when I drill into it, it'll be nice and flush. So I'll go ahead and carve that down and flatten both of them out, and then we'll start the drilling process. So as you can see, I've started the drilling process. I'm just going to drill a hole. I would recommend actually using plastic glue just for the fact that once that plastic glue sets on all these parts, you don't really have to worry about them breaking off or chipping off because plastic glue we know is pretty solid because it actually bonds everything. So just like that, I'm gonna keep on drilling the hole until I get it deep enough to make the magnet flush with this outside edge. So it'll be nice and flush when you glue it in, so. Just like that, there it is. Got the hole all the way through now. So I will get the bigger drill bit now so I can widen it out. There we go. So I got it completely drilled in. Now I will do start working on the onslaught cannon as well. And then we'll start working on the bits. And I mean, start putting the magnets inside. So guys, I hope you can see this. But if you look deep within that hole right there, you can see that the 764th bit I drilled first. And the one and then the one sixteenth bit, you can see there's a little bit of a lip right there. And that'll use that'll be there to hold the magnet flush. That'll be there to hold the magnet so it actually doesn't fall inside there. So I'll go ahead and start gluing those down and we'll get to it. So I put the glue in there and now the black side needs to go on the bottom. So I'll flip it around here, push it in there, use this to push it down. Makes that nice flush fit. That's done. Then I'll do the same thing over here. Never have enough super glue, so don't worry about it. if you're getting extra super glue everywhere. You're probably just gonna later on you're gonna file it down. Get that in there. Use my little wooden stick here. Push everything down. Uh, of course, the second one I do is gonna get messed up. There we go. Boom. Just like that. Both magnetized. Looking good. We'll let those dry. I'll let all these dry right here. Push them off to the side. And by this time, the onslaught and everything else is done. So just like that, I'll just like that magnet is in. Fits where it needs to go. There, it's tagged on just how I want it. That was the plasma incinerator. Same thing for the onslaught cannon. Make sure it fits nice and snug. It's got a little bit of wiggle. It's not gonna be completely tight, but it's just good enough to where when I put that model on there and I put that arm on there, I can just swap them both out and pop them both on and off. So I can have both my weapons just like that. My arms, those arm pieces are done. Now it's time to work on the hardest part of this because be working with all these bits right here 
And the problem with this one is that I've already looked at is that you have to use the very small magnets. So the 1 16th, I think the 1 32nds are gonna be a little bit too big. Cause if you look right here, this right here is about the only area you have to actually put a magnet that'll fit right in here. So it'll actually be right here and right there, but that's about the only place you're actually gonna get and be able to put a magnet there. So, the, so guys, just like I said, I'm gonna put the drill, I'm gonna put the bit right about right there. I've already kind of marked it off in my head and everything where it needs to go. So I'm gonna just drill a small little hole right here. Just like that, I shouldn't need much more than that depth. That should be enough depth. Just like that, I punched right on through. Nah, that's okay. Do the same thing on this one. Well guys, this one I actually got right. I didn't actually drill all the way through and you can kind of see it was about ready to puncture through. So that's why I knew it was time for me to stop. You can kind of sense that when you're drilling. And so now I am going to drill those out the holes right about right there now these are the pieces you're gonna have to be the most careful with because they are very thin so you probably don't want too much you just want to drill in just enough to get the magnet to be able to fit so that's not deep enough probably just a little bit deeper than that Get in there, just a little bit more of a hole. You want to get it so it's deep enough to where the magnet has a little bit of, of surface area around it to really hold it in there. Yeah. That should be good right there. So uh, I'm going to continue to drill out uh, the two bolters plus the frag. Now the frag one is the one you really want to be careful with because that is a very thin piece. So I'll go ahead and drill that one out too as well here. You know, if you look at it, that sucker is very thin. I mean, I'm not, I have the biggest hands in the world, but just want to be very careful when you're drilling all that out. So I'm sure there's other ways to magnetize and everything, but in my mind, this is what I came up with. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Just like that, I'm going to drill both those out. And then I'll get the magnets out and I'll mark up all the magnets and everything so I can drop them in and put them in where they need to go. So uh, I'll drill that out a little more and I'll finish up the rest of them and then we'll put the magnets in and fix up everything. So guys, I've got the magnets all marked off so I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing. Just a little bit of glue in there. Oh boy, I didn't even get it in the hole, did I? Oh, that's not good. Okay. Put the... God, these magnets. These are tiny. There we go. Got that one in. And then I got to drop this bad boy in too. This is the one I made a too big of a hole. So this is the one I made too big of a hole. So I'll definitely see how this one goes. Well guys, those are drying, so I'm gonna start working on the frag launchers and everything. So, same process here. Got a little glue in there. That time I got it precisely in the hole. Got the black side up. Oh no. Guys, I am so sorry. These little magnets, they are so small. And I got big old clod hopper hands. Not too big of hands, but geez. These things can really be a pain, so. And the problem is they're magnetized, so you don't want to use metal. It can be a real pain. So uh, thanks, guys, for being patient with me. Hey, guys. So I've uh, this is all dried up, as you can tell. Uh, pops right in there. That fits in there. As you can tell, there's a little bit of gap. You can see it a little bit, but from the front view, looks just about normal. Uh, you know, it's probably not my best pinning job or my magnet job ever but for what i need it to do i'm not gonna let's just be honest man i'm with this army i've had this army for a very very long time now 
I'm not going to be winning any Golden Demon Awards or Best Painted Army with them. I've been working on them since 1998. So all I need is something to where I can switch out the weapons and everything. I mean, most of the time, I don't know, I'll probably be using a Heavy Flamer. But, you know, just in case I ever want to lay the Daka down and have more firepower, the Onslaught, the Onslaught, the normal Onslaught Cannon is a, you know, five shots. Uh, strength, what is it, 18 inches, negative one rend. So it's a pretty nice weapon. So other than that, it's not the best magnet job I've ever done. And just like that. So those are all done. And then we also have these bad boys too. So, so just like that, they fit in there just how they need to. It's nice and flush and it's got enough hold to where it, it won't simply just easily fall out. So just like that, it's got enough hold. It's just, it's really what I need it to do. So let me look at the other ones over here. Frag Storm Missile Launchers. Same thing, fit in there nice. I'm gonna put the rest of my Redemptor, now that all that stuff's done, I'm gonna put the Redemptor, I'm gonna finish putting it up, putting it all together and everything so I can get it get it outside and get it primed. So guys, uh, I hope you liked the video. It's, you know, not the best thing in the world, but you know, I gave it my best. So uh, any comments down in the field, I do appreciate it. And uh, hope this guy's helped y'all out. If y'all wanna do try to pin your Redemptor Dreadnought, maybe you can take some of the stuff that I've done, make it a little better and you know, make it work just a little bit a hair better. Uh, but it does what I need it to do. And so I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting together, guys. I uh, appreciate your time and check back with us for our next video. I know this weekend we will be playing the Fate of Cantor Mission 2, which is actually the battle at Can Connor. Uh, sorry, good Lord, I can't pronounce anything. But yeah, we will be playing the second mission for the Fate of Connor. And uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, me and Jonathan haven't decided what we're gonna be playing but I really want to bring my Dark Angels. We'll have to see if, uh, unless, but we may have to do a smaller point game for that. But, you know, it's been a while since I've had my Dark Angels on the channel, so hopefully I can bring them. Well, guys, I appreciate it, uh, and enjoy the video.